Good morning, everyone. We bless the Lord for giving us another day, especially when we see what is going on around us in the world. Every second is counted as a blessing to our lives. I just want to come and encourage you and to lift you up to know who you are in God and what your identity in him is. That when it comes to the world, we always say that size matter. But when it comes to our God, size do not matter. I believe as I go on before the Lord plays on my heart, we will get where I am taking this message. And I have entitled it, It Doesn't Matter What You Look Like on the Outside is What's on the Inside That Counts. Because sometimes it is easy for people to see you and just judge you or maybe wanted to be you because of what they have seen on the outside. But maybe they may not know the battles that you are fighting behind the scene. They may not even know how you come out smiling without knowing what is going on behind. So most of the time, we just see the outward things to judge a person. But thank God that he is not like a man. Hallelujah. I just want to use a man that is in the Bible, that God calls him a man after his heart, King David. That we are all familiar with what happened and the process that David went through before he came to be king of Israel. That the Bible said that when Saul was rejected, God sent his prophet Samuel to go and anoint someone from the house of Jesse. And the Bible said when he gets there, he called the sons of Jesse and was about to anoint them as king. He saw their stature and how they look. But the Bible said that time David was in the field taking care of the sheep. And I believe that was the place that he was having encounter um, fellowship with God. And with his faithfulness, God found him. It doesn't matter what you look on the outside. So the Bible said David came in. And then Samuel, Prophet Samuel, knew the Lord spoke to him that this is the man I have chosen. This is the man that you need to anoint. I was watching something today um, about animals, kingdom. And when I was watching, there was... Um, one insect that it is hard for you to recognize this insect when it is mixed with the leaves. So they call that insect can aris. So when I was watching it, another insect came that is bigger. Than the one that is called Khan Addis. Khan Addis. And he was able to spit a saliva. And the moment the saliva got into the other insect, he was able to consume it. And the person who was narrating it say that size means nothing if you have the right weapon. Size means nothing if you have the right weapon and then the message of David came to me a man after God's own heart 
the man who has been faithful with the few sheep that God has given to him. That in the midst of him taking care of the sheep, he was worshiping the God that he knew from his father. The Bible said that a time came that the Israelites, the Philistines, were tormenting them because they were coming to fight the people of God. And everyone was hiding in caves because the one who was leading, who is Goliath, no man could stand before him and win. During that time, those that were in the army, I believe, did not have the height of David. I don't think that David was qualified to be in the army because his brothers were in. Those that Samuel thought that they fit for the king. So the Bible said, when these Philistines came for days to mock the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jesse sent David to go and give something to his brothers. When he went, he asked what was going on, and they told him, I believe you know the story. And the Bible said that when he found out what was going on, he told them to take them to the king, which, is, which was King Saul. And when he went to the king, he told the king, that he will be able to go and stand and fight this uncircumcised Philistine who is mocking and insulting their king. When he told him, I believe he looked at him funny because you have never been to war. Your body does not even qualify you to go and stand before this giant. What do you have that you come before me to tell me that you are able to take this person out? So the Bible said that when David told him, Saul decided to give him his weapons or the attire that he used for war. And this is where I want us to stand. That the Bible said when he was given or offered, the clothes and the weapons of, <laughs> of King Saul. He told him, he put it on and he couldn't carry. He told him, I have not tested this. I have not tested this. He was the leader. He was the leader of the army of God. But when he gave it to him, he told him that he has not tested this thing. So he can't use it for war. But the one that he has tested, that when lions, that when um, those wild animals are coming to eat up his sheep, he fought with, is just the slink. Do you know how many things or how many people, leaders, that when God placed you with them, if it doesn't go their way, then you are not qualified to do it. If it doesn't come from them, then there is no way that you are going to succeed. So the Bible said David decided to go and fought Goliath with what he has. Go in this thy might. His appearance wasn't something that was convincing to kill or to stand before Goliath. But my message is greater was he that was in him. What is, the, what is in the inside of you matters more than the outside. So he went and stood before this giant and then he spoke. He has nothing to come against him. He has no weapons. He has no experience being in the army or to fight people in the army or to stand before war and then war against God's enemy. But he comes in the name of the Father. He comes in the name of the Father. The Bible said, When Israel 
Saul and his people couldn't fought. David fought and won the battle for God's people. He fought and won the battle for God's people. Days of hiding was over. Who has God brought into your life that you have looked on the outward and despised them and something that was supposed to bring peace to a nation, to a family, to a church, to um, friendship because you undermined those people, that family, that nation is still struggling and suffering because you refuse to accept what God sent into your life by judging what was on the outside. I cannot even tell if Saul was praying for David when he went to fight, when he, when he went to, um, to fight Goliath. I can't tell. But he knew, David knew that he wasn't alone. And he was going in the power of the might of God. I believe his thought was, let's see, even if we can't do it, who do you think you are that with just this link and stones, you are going to strike this giant down? But the Lord was with him. The Bible said in the book of Daniel that the people that do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. Your size don't matter if you know the Lord. Your age don't matter if you know the Lord. Sometimes experience doesn't even matter if God is the one going before you. The Bible said in the book of 1 Corinthians 1, chapter 1, 26 to 29, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence. God shares his glory with no man. All he wants from you is to avail yourself that you will not look onto yourself. It doesn't matter who is looking down on you. It doesn't matter who thinks you do not qualify. It doesn't matter your knowledge in the word, your knowledge in books, whatever. If God said he has chosen you, he will use the unlearned people to bring glory, revival, to bring his purpose to come to pass. When it comes to God, it's not as the world defined it. That size matter or wisdom of man matter. If it is not based on God's wisdom, it is a waste. Don't look down on yourself and don't accept any label that anyone is putting on you. Because God sees the potential in you. He knows what is in you and he will bring glory to his name. The presence of the Lord, the weapons of our warfare is not carnal this time, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He is in you and with him you will conquer and overcome and overtake your enemies. You are more than a conqueror. His presence is your weapon. Just make sure that you clear yourself from anything that is not worthy of him and allow God to use you for his glory. Put away anything that easily besets you. Offenses, my Lord. Oh, anything that the enemy is using to pull you down, that the glory of God will depart. Decide that no, not this time, not this season. I am ready for the Lord to use me as I am because it is not by might nor by power, but by his spirit. Go in this thy might. You have more than it takes. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. May the Lord bless his word and may the Lord keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.